get YouTube comments. It says the amount of unique comments is 70. And let's see who we get. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Justin. Today on my CF Moto Z Force 950 Sport, we're going to be doing a very, very simple service, simple maintenance, changing the transmission oil. Book stasis should be done every 2000 miles. Mine is right above 1500. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mine a little bit early. I've never changed the trans, this is just the original transmission oil that was in it. So it should be super easy. Uh, one other thing that we are going to do in this video is we are going to, even though Main Street Cycle does not have them in stock yet, we're going to do the clutch kit giveaway. I've been trying to, to wait and see if they got them in stock before I did the giveaway, but we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway. Whoever wins, just reach out to me on here. Um, reach out to my Justin the Creator Facebook page. We'll get that clutch kit out for you as soon as it comes in stock. So. But let's, uh, let's get started on the service. Super easy, I'll, uh, I'll show you everything. Let's get into it. So underneath here, you're gonna have in the back your oil dipstick, and then in the front, right there is your transmission dipstick. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna undo that first uh, otherwise it won't all drain out. And then your drain plug is gonna be directly underneath it, this one right here on the side. So we're gonna take that off and then take the drain plug out, let it drain, fill it back up. Okay, so like I said, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the dipstick. drain pan under here seventeen millimeter should break loose pretty easily and ooh mine's got some metal in it for certain let's clean this off as you can see, there's definitely some chunks, some decent chunks of metal in here. Man, that sludge is kind of thick. I just want to show you as I wipe it off. Quite a bit of sludge. Not as many metal pieces as I thought, just a couple big chunks. It's probably a good thing that I changed this now when I did. What's up, dude? Hey, what's happening, buddy? Hey, everybody said hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> you guys at lunch? Okay, so what we're fixing to use is Maxima, the side-by-side -side high performance trans oil. You can get this you can get anything you need for your services directly from Main Street Cycle. I know when I need a service, that's what I do. I call them up or I text them and say, hey, I'm getting ready to hit this mileage. It's time for this mileage service. And they send out whatever kit I need. Um, your kits always come with everything. They come with washers. They come with O-rings. Uh, they come with, you know, depending on what service you're doing, it'll come with, you know, oil, oil filter, diff fluid, uh, trans oil. Just all depends on what service you need. So we've got the drain plug back in and tightened. So let's fill it up and then we'll check it, make sure the level's correct. Okay, let's get our funnel in here. 
And this is going to take 0.6 liters. So when you go to check this, you'll check it just like you do your oil, which is, um, drop the dipstick down in, do not screw it down, pull it back out, and find your level. And I don't know if you can see that sheen on there or not, but we're right where we need to be. So now I'll start her up, make sure nothing's leaking, and uh, we'll be done. So service is done. Super easy, super simple transmission oil change, but it's something that does have to be done. I would recommend doing yours way before I did mine. Uh, like you saw, there was some sludge and some, you know, metal flakes in there and the oil was pretty dirty. I know it says every 2,000 mile in the books, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably going to start changing mine like every 500 or so uh, just to stay on top of it and make sure. We are at like 1,590 miles, so I will be doing a 1,500 mile review. What I think, any problems or issues that I've had, we'll be doing some other services too. Uh, we'll have to do an oil change. We'll do front and rear diff. I've already done both of those. Um, and I'll put those, I'll link those videos up in here somewhere. But now it is time to draw our winner for the clutch kit from Main Street Cycle. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna look up a YouTube comment picker. I'm gonna screen record on my phone so you can see everything we're going to use i don't know if you even be able to see this or not probably not so we're going to use the top one so we're going to use this top one commentpicker.com YouTube random comment picker. So we'll have to get the link to the video. And it was this one here. We'll paste it. Filter duplicate users. Um, that's it. Get YouTube comments. It says the amount of unique comments is 70. And let's see who we get. John Shup. You are the winner. So John, get a hold of me and we'll get it uh, taken care of. So congratulations to John. John, send me a message either here or on Facebook. Our links to all my socials are down in the description. Shoot me a message and uh, we'll get that right out to you. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the new subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, and you like what I have to offer on this channel and like this content, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Upload two, three, four times a week, just, to, just depending on what I have going on. Leave me a like, leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much. We will see you in the next one. Amen.